Hi Aries, welcome to your daily video. I hope you guys are doing great today. Thank you for stopping in. So I'm going to go ahead and start on your tarot card reading. And just to let you know, I am doing Aquarius videos. The reason being is Uranus, which rules over Aquarius, is in Aries' second house of money. So in order to push your business higher, you may want to start thinking like an Aquarius. So I'll be doing Aquarius love and career in general, in addition to Aries, um, extra videos, because we want to figure out how to be an innovator, an outlier, how to be the energy of Uranus Aquarius, which is breaking the mold, doing things differently, um, being a disruptor, being someone who does things differently from everybody else. Um, okay, so let's see what we get here for you, Aries. Show us Aries daily message, angel spirits guides. Something's coming in fast. The challenge is not giving up. It could also be that you're blocking this energy, blocking the messages. Okay, underlying is Standing your ground. Could be you or someone else, but somebody is standing their ground. There is the wheel of fortune. Good luck, good fortune, destiny. The lovers is on your mind. Could be Gemini, could be a choice, could be something that you're doing that involves a choice, an option, a choice in love or just in general in life. Okay. This bugs me because it's like a little. Like. So. You're going to become aware of a choice that you could make. And it's coming at you all at once. Like to me, Eight of Rods is Sagittarius. It could be long distance, but it's coming in all at once. So let's see what we get. What's Aries? Hierophant. Something to do with following rules, order. Um, rank and file. Hierophant. Your energy is four of wands. Okay. Stability. Things are going well. There's someone around you or in the environment that is very, they're very motivated. They are waiting on the beach. They could be waiting to hear from you, anticipating, waiting to hear from you. Okay, you're wanting to, I feel like, jump in really quick. There's something here where you want to jump in, like, and save the day or go forward without a plan. Um, let's see what we're getting here. And what is the outcome here for Aries today? Wow. There's a, like a power play going on. There's some kind of power play. Your life is good. You're in a four of wands. You've already reached the goal that you want to reach. And um, somebody else is in their ego, it is Aries energy. Someone else is like pushed, waiting. They're anticipating. Wait, maybe they're waiting to hear from you. But the challenge is refusing to quit, but feeling like you're a warrior on a battlefield. So what is this Five of Wands about? Minor Arcana, just for people who compete with one another. Age of air, okay. 
could be an air sign. Somebody could be watching you, observing you. What is this lover's energy? Seven of the swords. Somebody is being hiding, hiding something, being sneaky. There's an empress, female figure, someone who represents a goddess or someone is held to a higher level. Could be somebody with money, could have a four of coin, holding on or holding back. To me, this could be somebody who is jealous of you or I don't know. Underlying energy is aggression coming towards you. This person's waiting. They're very assertive. They're waiting to hear from you. We have a page of coin. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then we have egos. We have competition. We have ego. Um, competition, you know, something to do with like a sport sports <laughs> sportsman like energy but it could also be people who go sideways they blame other people or something like that we do have seven of swords somebody's got information that they don't want to share or they're keeping it to themselves okay there is an offer here coming in for you an opportunity somebody's giving you a gift or an opportunity so I think there's trust issues from the Aries point of view it could be that it's because somebody like bombs you with information like they just send you a big text and you're like what is this all about um, the Hierophant is here so think about order could be government could be uh, anything to do with Religion, um, to me, it's rank and file. It's like, get in line, stay stay in your lane. You're fine, though. Like, you're fine here in your lane. You're staying in your lane. Somebody is, like, possibly wanting to help you get higher. Like, wanting you to elevate. Because they're waiting. They're pushing you. You're like, okay, I'm all in. <laughs> with the chariot. However, this causes disruption. This is very Uranus energy. We have a king of coin on the bottom, which could be anybody who has money or somebody who's making a financial decision. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. We have Virgo energy here and somebody reaching out to you with a pleasant um, message, a funny message. Could be a funny joke. Could be a message of love. Somebody wants to illuminate you. They want to let you know. They want to give you information. So we have a king of swords now, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's actually the energy of an Aquarius. Somebody wants to push you out of your comfort zone. And um, what I'm seeing is you're all in. You're like, okay, I'm all in. But it causes a disruption here amongst other people. You then, somebody is then closing themselves off. So I hope you don't close yourself off. Um, King coin. Don't close yourself off to a possibility or an opportunity just because other people are going to be like, what, what, what? You know? Because um, you're what you want is chariot major arcana you're just like i'm ready to fly forward you want you're wanting to move the needle out of your comfort zone and you're want this person is wanting you to move out of your comfort zone the challenge is resistance or staying the course in something and then there's an energy of resistance again somebody wants rank and file
And then there's this energy of, well, if I had the information, nobody will find out. Okay. Show us one more for Aries. What is this all about? Six of Wands. So there's something here about getting, getting popular or social media or something where you're seen. You're being seen. You're being recognized. Some, you caught someone's eye, maybe. And then we have you sort of feeling like a hero or feeling victorious. So why is there a five of wands here with the page of swords? It's very petty. Okay, there's something about this nine of wands. Somebody doesn't want to quit. They don't want to give up. That's your challenge. The energy there of that. Seven of cups. You've got choices or options. Um, it could be confusion. What is this page of swords? Okay, we have the devil, which could be a Capricorn. Um, it could be somebody who's obsessed with you. There's obsession. There could be some kind of toxic energy. Four of coin. Okay, so that could be why you decide to hold back. You hold back because this is like unhealthy in some way, but you want in. You're like, I want, I want in. This is fun. I want to do it. Why is there a seven of swords? Who's hiding the information or who's, wow. Somebody is stressed out, worried, or concerned about things that they have hidden. What is the chariot? Why does Aries want to jump in and move forward? Okay, you get the truth, ace of swords, and you like this, nine of cups. See, you like this. You're like, I like this. I want to go forward. It causes a disruption in your life because it pushes you outside your comfort zone. What is the seven of wands? Okay, eight of coin. Learning. Um, something here about education or finance. What is the wheel of fortune? Five of coin. Okay, if some of you feel left out in the cold or you feel neglected or you could be having money problems, this is going to change. What is the four of wands here? Okay, so we have here three of coin, teams, hangman. So something is about to happen where you have an epiphany that you can change your current situation. Now we have a tower if you work with others here. So what is this five of coin? Yeah, there's something where you're wearing a couple of hats, multiple hats. You're doing two things at once. There's some kind of mistrust, like you don't trust someone for some reason. Queen of air, yeah, there's some kind of like, um, when you put up a block towards someone and the lover's card, you just don't trust them for some reason. Uh, Eight of Swords. You feel like you can't trust a person so you're hesitant about letting them in but this person wants to come in and push you outside your comfort zone. So then you're at a two of rods. Like, okay. It could be something as simple as let's get lunch together. Like not, not a date, but like let's go out to lunch and, you know, meet, coffee or something, you know. There's something here where it's very hedonistic. It's very um, coming from desires. It's like you really want to do this, but King of the Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there could be something wrong in the situation, like unethical and or something that is different. I don't really see that. This person is waiting for you. They're waiting to hear from you. 
I hope it's not someone angry at you, but I don't think so, because what you want is the Chariot, Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups. You're like, I'm all in. I'm going to do it. They come at you from a page of swords. They're watching you. They're seeing, you know, a struggle. I think this person wants to help you level up and push you outside your comfort zone. And you have a choice. You're either going to do that or you're going to stay in your comfort zone. Someone's showing you appreciation, which could feel stuck. If you're in a comfort zone, it could feel like you're stuck. Yeah, I got you feel all tied up unable to break free or something. Um, what else? A caring connection. The thinking woman. And a woman holding a coin. Usually the thinking woman is something who, someone who has higher education, higher learning, lawyers, engineers, uh, doctors. The woman holding a coin is a person who has resources that they can give you or make available to you. Someone wants to help you push the needle. Wow. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. There's something here about a message you'll be receiving. It's a very important message. Um, could be a life-changing message. Somebody wants to offer you something here where possibly you'll be seen, maybe on TV. Um, man holding a coin. Yeah, so there's someone here who has the resources, they have the ability to give this to you and to help you. Your problem is, uh, your, your problem is you are um, in a four of wands. You feel like I, I'm, I've come as far as I wanna come and I'm not sure I'm ready. I think you are ready, Aries. You are ready. You got to the Four of Wands. It's time to sort of kick it up a notch and go to the Six. So if other people are disruptive to you or... I don't think so. We have a supportive community. This is a very supportive group of people around you. It's not haters. <laughs> um, even if you do have haters, who cares? You just keep going and, you know, um, you just pay no attention to it. And there's someone that wants you to go higher. So I'm going to leave it at that. Keep in mind that Aquarius readings are to help you if you watch them to, it's like spying on their energy to like spy on their energy and see how is it that they're using Uranus energy in the second, how is Uranus in the second house of money? How does Aquarius approach finance? How do, what do they do? So I'll leave it there. Thank you, Aries, and take care.